Hi guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel! Welcome to my birth vlog! The past weeks have been insane, crazy, sleepless nights. I couldn't be more grateful to have this little baby in my life. I love him so much. His name is Charles. Grayson Gertz is narrow scared for my grandpa. It's been a crazy time and he's been the biggest blessing and I'm getting more and more used to being a mom. Today I'm here to share my birth experience with you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. For weeks and weeks, I was anticipating this moment where I would get contractions and I could finally go to the hospital and have this baby because I was done being pregnant and I was just really anxious to see his little face and what he would look like and now I can just not imagine my world without him anymore which is insane and it's just so crazy how I created a little person that created a life which is like what my blown? Isn't it insane how women are so powerful that they can create another life and that we can give them milk literally life-sustaining milk it's just it was october 11th around 8 p.m my mom josh and i got back from target because we were getting some kind of decoration for upstairs for the loft for the house just kind of make it look a little bit more homey josh and i were taking out the trash and as soon as i wanted to close the door i literally had to step and hold onto the wall because this immense pain this immense contraction came over me and i was like oh what i looked at josh and was like i think this might be it i was going into preterm labor at 26 weeks again at 32 all the doctors were like yeah you're totally gonna have them at like 30 something 32 34 weeks probably 36 latest and i was just sitting there like he is really not coming out anymore he really just wants to stay in every single thing every single pain is like is this the moment could this be happening so that one night i was like this could be it but i've had so many preterm labor scares where i didn't really want to get excited anymore so i was like you know what guys i'm just gonna go relax this could be the last one when i can take a shower or can take a bath i think she's ready to have the baby how you feeling babe Hi. how you feeling we're on baby watch from now till the baby comes. It's 850. Let's get it. So I went upstairs, took a bath. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. This helps. This makes them hurt less, actually. Yeah? I can feel them up there hurting less. That's why people say water birth are so great, and I would love to do that. But nah, nah I can't. I can't. I wish. So we're just gonna wait and see if this is the real thing or if it's another one of his little scares because he likes to do that apparently. Yeah, he's been doing this a while. It's 12.53 right now, right? Should be the 12.53, almost 1 a.m. Still having contractions. We're gonna go to sleep and see where we're at in the morning. Hopefully more contractions, worse contractions, my water breaking, anything like that would be great. Hopefully this will be the day. So we're gonna go to bed now? Yep. Oh, <laughs> we totally have that in our house, but Yeah, totally. It's not me with a remote in the middle of the night, no. <laughs> if this would be the thing, we would need some rest. I would need some rest. I would need all the energy I could possibly get because labor, guys, I'm telling you, it's not easy. It's a lot of pain and it's nothing that you can prepare yourself for. Josh had to go that day. I told him like, if anything happens, I'll call you so you can make your way back home. But 7 a.m. I woke up, got up and I was like, my side hurts really bad. My whole body felt like it was cramping from pain that I've had all night. I was just trying to kind of figure out what was going on with my body. Sure enough, the contractions got worse, the pain got worse. And it was like every two to three minutes I was having like tightening this intense pain would hit me and i would just walk back and forth saying no 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 please and it was just getting worse and worse so i called josh and i was like babe i think i think you gotta come home this is really bad it's getting worse this pain is just really unbearable right now there's no way on earth i'm able to handle this there's no way on earth this is not the real thing this has to be it and I called him and he was like, oh my god, I'm gonna make my way back home right now. He was like, just hold on, breathe through it, try to make it. I'm gonna be there as soon as possible. My mom was here, but I wanted to wait for him, obviously. Trying to get ready, do my makeup. It looked awful to me. I just couldn't really even do anything with my makeup at this point. I was just trying to make lines and put something in my face. <laughs> I couldn't even put my fake lashes on or do anything with my face because... The pain was just so bad. I could barely focus on what I was doing and yeah, it just got so bad. And I was like, you know what, just screw it is. I'll just pack my bags. I'll just hope that my makeup is decent and 
uh, make sure to have the camera to have everything because I wanted to make sure that we can record it and then we can have the best pictures possible for our little first baby and by the time Josh got here I was like I am done explain to your future self what it feels like basically like you're dying like I want to die and I thought I could do this but I don't feel like I can I don't feel like I can't do this at all. You can do it, babe. You got this. <laughs> like, I was just not have feeling it no more. I was like, we are going to the hospital right now. So he was rushing to get ready. I just gotta get dressed. I gotta, I got the mom's getting ready as well. We're all just gonna shoot over to the hospital right after this. So I need to hurry as much as I can. Cause she, she's in pain. But you smell delicious. Just a quick update because I'm the only one that can do updates right now because she was in so much pain. But uh, we're about to go to the hospital. I have everything ready. I just, I'm ready, she's ready, the mom's ready. Check, check, check. It's, it's nerve wracking and at the same time, I, I can't wait. The next time I step into this room, I'm gonna be a dad. I'm gonna step in it with my baby. Okay, I gotta go. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm grabbing everything. We went to the car, made our way to the hospital. When we got to the hospital, I kind of like waddled towards the entrance. We had to go through the emergency room entrance and talk to a reception right there. And as soon as you say, oh, I'm pregnant, I'm in labor, all these people that have to wait hours, they put you in front. They brought a wheelchair, put me in there, and they just wheeled me up to my room. And I was finally on the way to deliver this baby. I got to triage that's what they call it it's a room where you lay in like a hospital bed you get hooked up to two types of monitors the first monitor is for baby's heartbeat and the second monitor is for your contractions so it's really cool how the monitors can actually tell you when you have a contraction how long the contraction is it's based on pressure so sometimes it's kind of faulty but most of the time it's pretty accurate so as soon as they hook me up they definitely saw that I was having contractions, regular ones, super close, super long. When I got to the hospital, I was yelling through my contractions because it was so painful. I was trying to just not do that and I never wanted to be that kind of person. I'm telling you guys, there's no way you can prepare yourself for this. I was trying to like hold on to my husband, to my mom, and just go through the contractions, just breathe. The lady was like, you're admitted. <laughs> you're definitely admitted. I was able to put on my own gown. I got this super, super cute unicorn gown from Stork Delivery. They gave me another gown that I could use as a little robe because obviously hospital gowns are open in the back. We took all our stuff and we waddled from triage to the delivery room, to the labor room. And as soon as we got into that room, I was nervous and excited and so happy that I was finally having this baby and it was finally this moment and this room was just the cute thing in the world like I had this really cool like labor bed there was a little bed for baby with a heater on top and a little head for him which was super cute and I was just so excited my little baby would be there laying in this bed after I would have given birth to him the thought that I would have him this day it could be any hour was just so exciting I was still in pain I was yelling at this point I was literally like yelling through my contractions. I had to have all the support that I could possibly have. Thank God my mom was there and Josh were there that could help me and just kind of give me the ice chips that they were feeding me because they did not let me have any water or any food. She's doing good, no? Yes, she's doing good. She's doing fantastic. Good job, baby. Since I got to this room, I asked for the epidural. So I just got my favorite thing, my IV. I actually did really good this time. And I'm gonna get my epidural, yay, because I can't handle the pain no more. It's really bad and this was worth it. And this will be worth it too. I don't care how many needles I have to take. There's people that can handle only so much pain. There's people that can handle only so much pain. I was kind of in between because I did go through the pain from 7 a.m. until 2 p.m. when I got my epidural and it was really intense, it got worse, but honestly guys, like whatever birth you had, whatever birth other people have, never judge somebody because it just depends on a person, it just depends on what people want, what people like. You should never judge anybody else, but I'm just throwing it out there for positivity and all of that stuff. The guy that did my epidural came 20 minutes later and he 
did it super fast actually I was a little scared because you know needles and everything I did do really good when it came to my Abby and I never do good with needles but I was having so much pain that I was so distracted by the pain and the contractions that I barely felt her putting the needle in my arm it was in my hand actually and I hate putting it in my hand but the epidural was actually pretty good the only thing that I felt and that kind of kind of hurt not even that bad was the shot that I got to numb my back area it barely hurt it was kind of like a burning sensation everything went kind of numb back there and he was able to do whatever he was doing with the tube i really didn't want the epidural at first because i did what you should never do when you give birth and that is watch a video about epidurals on youtube no i did not want that i was like heck no i'm not having a tube in my back i'm going all natural and that did not happen of course as soon as i had that epidural done a couple minutes later literally i went all numb honestly i don't know why i didn't want an epidural because this is great this is like amazing like i feel so good right now i can move my legs but it feels like a lot of work we're gonna be parents yeah yay and grandma and grandma, and grandma. <laughs> i feel so great right now this, yeah this is like amazing like i can do this like let's do it again i'll have oh, oh, oh. No. i said quite the same yeah. in this situation but this is so nice <laughs> i love this i'm coming now you want another one why is your arm out there like that i don't know still going through the contraction how yeah. is it now there you go, you I wanna watch some Kardashians? The pain was gone, I only felt a little bit of pressure. It was just so good that I was able to just enjoy myself and the happiness that I was having. I even sent my mom and Josh to get some food for themselves because I wanted to make sure that they eat since I couldn't eat because I really wanted my pizza but they did not let me have it. Main. I came in to the hospital and I was four centimeters. Obviously, they admitted me. They definitely thought I was gonna have this baby. And then an hour later, after my epidural, I was six centimeters. And I was like, this is moving along really fast. And the nurse was like, yeah, we should have this baby by like seven, eight p.m. I think it should definitely be today. And I'm like, yes, this is so cool. I'm so excited. Obviously, as soon as you have the epidural, you cannot get up. You're definitely confined to the bed. You have to just sit there and I did a walk around before I got my epidural because the pain was even worse when I was laying. You also get a catheter which is just TMI. Obviously you gotta go to the restroom and this stuff has to go somewhere so you get a catheter for that. The doctor broke my water and she came in. That's Snow by the way, our little dog. She had this like long, I'm not sure if it was plastic or if it was metal or whatever. I'm not sure I didn't even want to know but it was a stick that went inside of me and all the stuff came out and was like, am I bleeding out? But it was just my water that was broken and my god he does not want me to do this video. As soon as my water was broken, she came in like an hour later and it was 8 centimeters. And Josh was actually taking the nap during that and he just woke up when she told me that and he was like, whoa, that went fast. My legs are still super numb. They feel actually number. I can't even like lift, like it's so hard, I can't even lift anything. Like this is the only movement, this one right here, only movement I could do with my feet. It's fantastic, baby. <laughs> this is gonna go faster than we're thinking. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. It's like baby. baby. Baby countdown. Baby come up. Oh, what is that? That's the blood pressure thingy. My oh. blood pressure is actually kind of high, so somebody came, drew my blood just to check if I have preeclampsia. I think that's what it's called. The cure for that is delivery, which I'm on the way to, anyways. They're thinking I don't really have preeclampsia, or they're just thinking I'm just borderline like excited. I can feel the pressure, slight pain again, so I press a little button for the epidural. So. That should give me like another like dose and I'm just gonna try to like turn to the side. Let's see if we can get him out before 8. That would be great. Before 8? That's the goal? Before 7 would be even better because okay, then push. we still eat. <laughs> push right now. Push. <laughs> no. Don't, don't. You'll rip yourself. I'm joking. Look at her wrapped in so many blankets. <laughs> it's so cold here. I know. She's all cozy. She left for five minutes because you want to tell the doctor that things have been moving along pretty fast and I started feeling this weird pressure as soon as she came in five minutes later I was like I don't know what it is but you told me to tell you when I feel pressure and I feel intense pressure could you check and she's like you know what I'll check you right now next thing you know I was 10 centimeters I went from 8 to 10 in five literally five minutes and I, it's crazy how fast that happened but it happened so she was like you know what you're ready to have this baby. Over, I'm gonna push with you a couple times, see if you can move the baby. Okay. Because um, the pressure is like a tense no. And then if you know if you move the baby, we'll keep pushing. If not, then we'll let you what we call labor down a little bit, bring the baby down a little bit more. Right okay. through this one. So on the next contraction, we're gonna wait till it peaks just a little bit, so you get the most out of the contraction. Okay. When you start having the contraction, we're gonna take a deep breath in, hold it. I'm gonna count to ten. While I'm counting to 10, you're going to be bearing down 
and pushing, like you have to have a bowel movement, okay? okay? We're gonna be holding each leg, and you're gonna curl around the baby and pull back on your legs. Pull back on my legs. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Close so your eyes, please. So the more you, so that way you're getting, you know, giving the baby the most room to move, okay? We're gonna do that three times. We're gonna count to 10 three times. You're gonna take a breath every time I say, take a breath, we're gonna start again. So the goal is, during the contraction, you wanna use it to the maximum potential. And just quick breath, right back at it. Quick breath, right back at it, okay? And just, I know it's hard to hold your breath for that 10 seconds, but try to hold it the whole time. She went on my right side, Josh went on my left, they both held my leg, and I had to hold my own legs and then I had to push. Of course, the baby was moving down. The next thing you know, she was like, Josh and mom, do you guys wanna see the baby's head? And they were like, whoa, what? And I was like, what? They both walked in front of me and they were able to just see it. I like saw Josh freaking out. <laughs> What? Well, the the best thing thing ever. Ever. The best. Apparently, he has hair. <laughs> he has so much hair. He has hair. Oh. A lot of hair. Oh. From what I saw, he had hair, like a lot. Then the nurse told me to reach down and touch his head, and I was like freaking out. Whoa, weirdest feeling in the world, literally. She got the doctor, she told her, hey, she's ready to have the baby. This whole staff came in, the doctor, she brought this whole table full of stuff that she needed, like scissors, whatever stuff to like, I guess, stitch me back up. There was one person that was just there for the baby, then there was a nurse that was there to assist, and then obviously my nurse. So there were all these people that were just super nice. The staff was amazing, by the way. I'm super thankful that I had these people. I did not know the doctor, it was not my OBGYN. It was the on-call doctor and she was female, so I was really thankful for that. As soon as all the people were set up, nurse on my right, Josh on my left, they both had my legs, I held my own legs, and I had to push, and I pushed like 10 or 15 times, but within like 10, maybe less minutes, the baby was out. Literally, like the nurse right next to me told me like, look down, Susanna, look down. I almost missed it because I was so focused on pushing, but I saw Charlie sliding out and they put him on here and oh my God, like that feeling that I got right there, like all the emotions that just overwhelming, all that love that I just felt in this moment, it was just crazy. Like I did not even notice the doctor stitching me up, the doctor delivering my placenta. I did not notice any of that. I don't remember, I cannot recall any of that. I didn't even know that happened. I just know that I was holding this perfect little Thank baby so on my much. chest and he was just there and I was just, it was crazy how he was finally there. He was inside of me for nine months and then he was finally with me, like right in front of me. And just that love that I felt for this little baby. I, I never thought I was able to feel so much love and love someone little so much as I love him. And it was just crazy and He's just so perfect, guys. It was overwhelming. Like, they they were so nice, too. They were able to give me the golden hour, which means it's just Josh and I. And we were, we were able to bond with the baby. We get our skin-to-skin -skin contact. It's just me first and then Josh, obviously. So we're able to talk to him, just be with him, and just kind of bond as a family, as a new family. And then they were able to bring the nurse in and check him, give him eye ointment and weigh him. Six pounds, 13 ounces. Six pounds, 13 ounces, huh? You miss him already? You want him back? I didn't measure him, I forgot. I'm awful, but it's written down, definitely. They took his little footprints, and they just made sure that he's okay. They had a little heater on top so he was okay, he was warm and they just checked everything. Okay. Okay, stop squirming. <laughs> yeah. Just relax little man. <laughs> Why is his little arm so cute? Oh, yeah, like she, Did she see it? Like, oh, <laughs> That's what he was doing in the belly, huh, baby? Yeah, he was like shaking and doing so. Let's get you over to you a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> He's 20 and a quarter inches. <laughs> um, 51 and a half.
okay. I'm just measuring your head. Well, my teeth measure back though. <laughs> he doesn't want to give it back. Little guy. But they were able to do it in a room, which I was really, really thankful for. So I was able to just still be with him, even if I wasn't like physically with him at that moment. But I was able to see him because I just didn't want to let him go. He was just so perfect. And I was just so thankful that they just respected so many things on my birth plan. That they were super nice to me and the staff was just amazing. And as soon as that was done, he was handed back to me. My mom came back in. She was there. I was able to spend time with her and the baby and Josh and then his parents came over and visited and then just there was another whole day where we were together and the first night was just crazy like I did not sleep one second guys I'm telling you one second because I was just too excited to just look at him I literally stared at him the entire time day two little guys he is so calm and I emphasize right now. What are you? What are you? Come on. That's nice. Hi. I'm Look doing at better. Mama. I can walk. I can finally walk. Yeah, show it. There you go. Wearing these beautiful shoes, a gown still. Mm -hmm. And I got my Emmys taken out, so it's just great. Right here, and I had one right here. How was he last night? Being good. He was, he was just needy. He wanted to be held the entire time. And then the he wanted time. he wanted to eat and then he didn't eat. He didn't really oh, yeah. he like barely ate. He just wanted to let John and just stay there. He's about 19, 19 hours old. And you were born at five fifty one PM last Eight. night. Oh, you're not even a day old. You're just a few hours old, my love. He's so cute. Oh, I'm so in love with you. Oh my god, my love. My little baby. My little Hercules. Look at him. Like he has this weird thing. He likes to open just one eye and then close, and then the other eye is just like closed. And then I wanted to like want him to wake up, and then I was too scared to just let him sleep just in case I would not hear him cry or whatever. Which is just crazy because you need sleep. I'm telling you guys, I'm a Sami, and this is like the first time I'm wearing actual makeup. It was just so, just mind blowing how perfect he was. There was a whole next day where we just were in the hospital they just checked him because he had a little bit of jaundice but uh, it was okay it was an okay level so they had me there for another day and then the next day we were able to just get our last meal pack everything together and then go home so we got our car seat from downstairs and the nurse helped us put him in the car seat and he hated it completely he literally didn't want to be in there he was crying and i felt and i was like oh my god my heart is breaking i hate when he cries and i can't do anything and then they got me a wheelchair, I had to sit down, they gave me the car seat, so I was able to hold them. Um, blanket to put over him, or no? Oh yeah, baby, it's underneath also got the Where is it? Oh yeah, we have our little blanket. Oh, good thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just because I, I don't know if it's cold or not outside. Yeah. <laughs> He's all like happy now. Cheers. Snug as a bug. Look at you, man. Mama's right here. You can smell her. Hi, my Hi, He's so cute. Okay. Oh. So cute. And then they wheeled me out of the room and just threw this like big haul. And I was just so proud to hold this car seat and just to hold him. And the nurse gave me a little pacifier because he was a little fuzzy he didn't like the car seat obviously so he calmed down the pacifier by the way is the best thing ever invented but i was just so proud to be wheeled up with my little baby and josh was there filming and capturing everything making sure that we have all these moments on camera on video i'm so thankful that he did all of that because he was there but he was able to just capture it just for us and i'm gonna be going back to this video i know it every single time like every single birthday every single month that passes by today he is literally a month old when we went to the car and i was realizing like this is the moment i'm going home i'm not gonna have nurses there i'm not gonna have doctors there i'm gonna have to do it all on my own i was just like scared but excited but scared and literally guys like there's no way you can prepare yourself for this you gotta trust yourself i guess the baby too and there's no way you can prepare yourself 
on how to be a mom and you're never going to be ready. You're never going to be ready to be a mom. You're never going to be ready to have a kid. And I understand now what that means, what people always say to you. It's more of a, you know, you're never going to be ready because you never going to know what your baby's going to be like, what kind of personality he will have, all these birth classes, all these parenting classes. They can only tell you so much, but they're not going to be able to tell you that your baby's going to be a certain way, that your baby's going to tell you in this way that he's hungry, in this way that he wants love, that he wants to be held, that he's too cold, too hot, too warm, too, too everything. He just, he, every baby, each baby is different. Learn together how to feed, how to do things, how to figure out when to do certain things, when to let him sleep. And every single day it gets easier. Every single day there's a new challenge. But I'm really thankful for that. I'm really thankful to just be with him, to just learn with him and have him with me, have him by my side. Finally, just know him and get to know him and get to know him every day better and better and love him more and more. And it's the most amazing journey I'm on right now. And it's just fun. It's fun, guys. And I'm so thankful that my mom has been staying with us because she was able to help a lot. She was able to teach me things and show me things and how they work. And it's just great to have her here and I'm super super excited because he's a month old today and things went and time just went by so fast and next thing you know he will like love and me and smile and I just can't wait for that I'm so excited guys I'm so excited for this moment and I'm excited for you know all things that are gonna happen in the next future and this is it guys this is my birth story and I hope you enjoyed this video because I know I I will enjoy going back to it so many times but yeah, that was it guys.